The University of Leicester, like all universities across the Midlands, endured a total shutdown during its spring term and has since had to make serious investments in preparing its campus to ensure students can return in the autumn. Their vice-chancellor tells me they're now trying to recover from that initial financial hit. We are definitely seeing some impact on international student recruitment. That will have an impact on our funding. But so far we are seeing good demand for our courses from our home students and if that carries on we will be in a very secure position. But I am concerned about the longer term impact of funding for universities because we need funding from government to produce the graduates with the skills we need and also make a contribution to the local economy. The higher education sector is a huge financial contributor in this country, adding around £100 billion a year to the UK economy. Universities also provide thousands of jobs and in many smaller cities they are often one of the largest local employers. So their presence has a profound impact on the wider community. Of course COVID-19 has hit the universities, it's hit them hard in terms of their finances. Universities are anchor institutions across cities and regions, so lots of the work that we do connects to our local cities and regions, so we're seeing income losses as a result of COVID-19 there, so conferences uh, and all of the exhibitions that we normally do. Universities also rely heavily on international students paying premium fees. Figures from just before the pandemic show over 7% of university students in the Midlands came from overseas with 11.4% at the University of Nottingham and 22.7% at Coventry. Michelle Gidiofor travelled from Botswana to study civil engineering and says the current situation can be very off-putting. I think some people are genuinely afraid of the virus, so like, you know, might be concerned that they could catch it maybe from other students and stuff like that. And travel is really hard during this time. I was not able to go back home because of, you know, closing borders and stuff like that, so that's stuff you're going to have a part to pay. So could a university go bust? Well, the Institute for Fiscal Studies says there are 13 unnamed UK institutions which are in a very serious situation. And the University and College Union claims millions of students are being urged to return to campuses before it's safe to do so due to a lack of financial help. Their general secretary is urging the government to provide assurances that no university will go under in a looming recession. I mean, my hope would be that the government simply would not allow that to happen. Um, and I think students deserve a pledge from the government that that will not happen. The whole business model of universities is, in my opinion, what is pushing to get more people than is necessary back on campus. And, you know, for, from our point of view, the lack of underwriting of funding for universities by government in this period is leading them to make, I think, um, potentially poor choices uh, in opening up too quickly. The Department for Education says it implemented a support package for universities back in May, which brought forward tuition fee payments to free up £2.6 billion to help cash flow. And they also removed the cap on student numbers to aid recruitment. But many in higher education see this as a temporary fix as our universities, like many sectors of our economy, face an uncertain future. Nick Smith, ITV News.